Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I have an update for Pan Those Eyeshadows. And um, this was created by Alexi. I will have her linked down below. All of us panners change the rules a little bit to fit our panning needs. So I will get into my rules. But first, if you are not subscribed to my channel already and you like makeup and panning content, <laughs> panning content. I hope you subscribe before you leave and if you enjoy this project give this video a thumbs up. Like I said everyone has slightly different rules for this project. Mine are that I work on four shades at a time. Three of them are randomized from my eyeshadow spreadsheet. I have all of my palettes and shade names listed out and I randomize on the app pretty random. And um, yeah, as I roll an eyeshadow out, I randomize a new one in. The fourth shade is hand selected by me, just so I have a little control over the color story or if I have a shade in mind that I know I can hit pan on. Um, I just like to pick my last shade. I have three ways of rolling an eyeshadow out. First way obviously is to hit pan. That is most people's goal with this project, but if I have an item that I haven't hit pan on and I use it 15 times, I am able to roll it out if I choose so. My third rule for rolling an eyeshadow out is if it's been in the project for three months because I want to keep this project interesting and somewhat fresh for me and if I have an eyeshadow in for three months and I haven't hit 15 uses or pan I just know it's gonna take me a while <laughs> so I'd rather just roll it out and work on something new. I do have some rollouts if you've been following my project you know if I don't have an eye look on in the intro I'm more than likely rolling in a new shade and I will be creating a look at the end of this video. So I'm really excited to see what our new color story is and what kind of look I can create out of it. This is the color story that I have been working on this past month. I did roll in three new shades last update, which was really exciting. I am going to pull up my spreadsheet on my phone so I can look at my usage. I should have had this um, up <laughs> beforehand, but that is fine. Uh, pan those eyeshadows. Okay. The first shade that I'm going to talk about is this beautiful green metallic. Um, this was my hand selected shade three months ago, and it is from my ColourPop Sweet as Can Be eyeshadow palette. It is the shade Honey Tree. This is what it was looking like last update. I had three uses on this and I was able to use it three additional times. Hopefully I'll have some looks up on the screen. I realized I didn't do that last update but I always like to try to share my looks. I think it's just really fun to see how I was able to use um, the different shades. So I have a total of six uses and this is what that shade is looking like now. It's this top middle shade. As you can see there is a little bit of wear on this shadow. Um, I do not think I will be able to hit pan in 15 uses and it has been in for three months. I love this shade. I think it's really beautiful but I just it doesn't really go with a lot of shadows that I am panning right now so I am going to put into practice my three month roll, rule and I will be rolling this shade out. I am pretty satisfied with the looks that I have been able to create with this shade and um, yeah I'm really excited to get a new shade in this project. The second shade is this beautiful, what would you call this shade, like a fuchsia? magenta raspberry <laughs> it comes from my ColourPop lilac you a lot palette and it is the shade filtered I 
oh sorry it's so reflective I did roll the shade in last month so this is what it was looking like um after being swatched I had not used it prior to rolling it in this project and I have been able to use it four times within this last month which I think is really great um, again I will have looks on the screen this is what it's looking like after four uses and you can definitely see a little bit of use on there but this shade is going to stay in um, it's beautiful I it's very bold so it is hard to incorporate in a lot of different looks and I'm I tend to wear it in the same way <laughs> or I've been wanting to wear it in the same way but I have challenged myself like I did it um, as a wing I've done it all over my lid um, on the lower lash line I think so I have used this in a few different ways but I'm kind of running out <laughs> of ways. The third shade is this glittery, silvery, purpley blue sh shadow. I don't really know how to um, describe it, but it is from my Profusion Ethereal palette. This was also untouched when I rolled it in last month, so this is what it was looking like. I was really scared of this shadow. Um, when I created a look with it at the end of the last update, I was shocked how much I liked it. Um, but I knew I wouldn't be getting like a ton of use. I even talked about rolling it out in this update. Um, and a lot of you actually encouraged me to do so. Like if I'm not going to use it, then why work on it? I was able to use this three times, which I am shocked. I I'm shocked so I used it I count the use in my updates like when I create a look at the end sneaky I know but um, I did use it as like a liner I had to mix in a different shadow because this shade doesn't really have strong base to it it's hard to tell here um, but then I used it as a nail polish and I am wearing it today. So this is what it looks like. I do have a color underneath. Um, again, it doesn't have a base color to it, but I actually really enjoy this. I have seen so many panners um, use eyeshadow as a nail polish, and I've wanted to do it, but um, the thing that actually made me try it this time, Sophie Alexandra, thank you so much. In my last update, she commented and suggested that I use this shade as a nail polish. So I did. And I will be doing this a lot more often. <laughs> um, it's genius. It's just genius. So hopefully this lasts a while. I did put like a clear gel um, coat over it. So we'll see. Let's get into what this eyeshadow is looking like now. I'm I'm just going off on a little tangent, but this is the shade here. And as you can see, I have a really nice dip in the shade now because I use it as an eyeshadow. Um, and I used a pretty dense brush because I didn't want to get glitter all over the place. I didn't want to get it on my fingers. So I used a brush and um, yeah. I feel like if I use it one more time as a nail polish, I could actually hit pan. But I am going to roll this one out. I know it has not hit any of my parameters, but I don't want to keep it in just to use it as a nail polish one more time. You know what I mean? Like I now I know that I really enjoy it as a nail polish. I will not use it on my eyes again, most likely, because it's glitter, glitter. So I want to roll in an eyeshadow that I will actually use on my eyes. And I'll just keep this in mind for next time. Maybe I'll do this color again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be rolling in a second new shade. And then the last shadow that I've been working on is this beautiful, like, peachy, metallic, 
the shimmer. <laughs> I'm really great at describing shades, you guys. This comes from Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge. This is a third palette that rolled in that I had never touched before. So that is just really exciting to me to get use out of my newer eyeshadow palettes. And I was working on the shade called Prom Queen. This is what it was looking like when I rolled it in and I've used this four times. This is a great inner corner shade. I think three out of the uses I used as an inner corner. But this is what it's looking like now, right here. So you can see a little bit of wear. I do not think I'm going to hit pan in 15 uses. Um, oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. It's so smooth. And I use this over like a grungy green color that I'm panning in Face the Music, I think. Face the Music. And um, it completely changed. It did not look like this peachy um, color anymore, which I was really surprised and I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to mention that, but the shade is staying in. So I'm going to be rolling in two new shades. Now the green shade that's rolling in from my Sweetest Can Be palette was a hand selected shade. So I, I could roll in a hand selected shade, but I'm feeling kind of, I don't know, I kind of just want to randomize both of the shades just because it's fun. Oh, I just dropped my mascara. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this on the screen. Um, my spreadsheet of eyeshadows is up to date, I hope. Um, I'm... 99% sure it is up to date and I currently have 630 individual powder eyeshadow pans. So I'm going to start screen recording now. And um, so I have pretty random set to 0 to 630. I'm going to randomize the first shade, 12. Shade 12. So let's go all the way up to the top. And shade 12 comes from my Alter Ego Coastal Palette. And it's the shade Pearl. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to use this shade. So that is really exciting. I'm just going to highlight that so I don't forget. And then we're going to randomize the second shade. 238. 238 comes from my ColourPop Wild Nothing palette, which I have had two shades from this palette in this project. It's fine. And it's the very first shade called Crystal Cove. And I, even though I've had that palette in here for two shades, I don't remember what that shade is, but I'm gonna stop screen recording and I'm gonna go get those palettes. So. I will be right back to create a look. Okay, so I swatched out the two shades that are staying in and I grabbed the two palettes, but I have not looked at the shades, so we're going to do that together. Um, the first shade that rolled in was from my Coastal palette. I love this palette. I just think it's a beautiful, light, um, cool tone palette. And I rolled in the shade Pearl, so let's look. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a beautiful, like, iridescent shade. This will be beautiful for the lid or the inner corner. There it is right there. I don't think I've used this. Um, I just have always wanted to. Uh-oh. That is very similar to, well, it has a shift. They're not exactly, obviously the alter ego has more of, it, of an impact. Um, I, I'll keep them both in. I don't know how that will affect 
my usage. Oh wow, they're very similar. Hopefully they don't look that similar on the eyes. And then the second shade is from my Wow Nothing palette. And it is the first shade, Crystal Cove. Which is boring. <laughs> it's this shade right here. It is a very um, light. It's my skin tone. So... Oh, how boring. There it is. You can't even see it. Should I roll in another shade? <sighs> Do I dare? No. Let's just let's just leave it. I'm working on a lot of eyeshadows and um, I'm trying to, you know, use all my palettes, so maybe this is just a good little, not a break, but, you know, it's not very challenging shades, so it will allow me to maybe focus on the other, wow, the sun, the sun is coming. Well, this is a great time to zoom in and do my eye look. So let's do that. I forgot to mention that I do have a full face of makeup on, but um, I also have like one very light coat of mascara on. Um, hopefully my under eyes look okay. But yeah, what am I going to do with this? Here's a better look at the color story. Well, obviously I'm putting this all over my lid. See, like I feel like that's so boring. Yeah, no. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This does not have a mirror. So let me grab. I'm just going to put this all over my lid, I guess. Um, it is one of those mats that has glitter. Why would they do that? to a shade like this I do not know so now I have glitter all over mm. nice okay one shade done and you can't even tell <laughs> um, what do I do okay I am gonna create a wing with filtered. I'm going to take this angled. I just brought like a ton of brushes with me because I don't I don't know what I was going to create. This does have a little bit of fallout so I want to be very careful. I'm going to stamp it rather than swipe. I'm going to make that thicker. Because I'm going to layer one of the shimmers on top. And I kind of want this color to still peek through a little bit. Yeah, can you see a little bit of the fallout? And right here. Well, I guess I'm taking that down. But I'm only going to take it like halfway. Hmm, that's interesting. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this eye. Stamping it at first. The concentration is real. 
I hope you can't hear like the fan in the background. When I do videos now, um, I have a fan in the kind of in the hallway near Baby Boy's Nursery to help drown out the noise a little bit. Wings are never symmetrical. Ah, this lighting, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna take that down here like I did before. Look at the fallout. Okay. Of course, I did not bring my powder brush over here. Um, I'm going to take the shade Pearl from Coastal. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to take my finger. Ooh, it's so pretty. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm going to tap it kind of over the purple. I'm tapping it at first, but now I'm going to swipe. I feel like tapping it doesn't bring out the iridescence. And I'm just now realizing I don't have like a crease shade to use. That's fine. Not all looks need a crease shade, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me block the sun for a second. That's pretty. I'm a little worried that um, I kind of want to just leave it like that. That's just a really pretty simple look. But yeah, I'm a little worried that this um, shade from Sugar and Grunge just is going to kind of clash because this is like very cool toned and um, this shade is very peach. Where is it? So I'm going to just take my pinky and put it on the inner corner. That's all I can really think of doing. Are you going to focus? Hmm. Okay, now for the finishing touch mascara. Mascara always brings a look together. Oh, I have glitter all over from that pearl shade. Do you guys like my earrings? I actually got these um, around Christmas time and I never wore them. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do not wear dangly earrings ever. One reason was actually my old job. Um, it was part of the dress code. We could not wear any earrings that um, dangled. <laughs> they had to be studs. Um, so I just got in the habit of wearing the same studs all the time. But also my ears are really sensitive. Um, if, if my earrings are too heavy, my ears like ache. They hurt really bad. So I prefer wearing studs or like, um, really, yeah, just studs, but these are super lightweight. I can barely feel them, which I'm really happy about. I love 
pearl earrings. I just think they're so beautiful and classic. I wore pearl earrings and pearl necklace to my wedding and they're just my go-to. I'd rather wear pearls than diamonds. Um, except for my wedding ring. <laughs> but yeah. So let me zoom you out. Well, this is the finished look. I think it's really pretty. Really pretty. Um, easy every day with a pop of color in the wing. This sun, man. I'm going to block it. <laughs> there that's better I'm just gonna sit here with this palette blocking the window uh sorry I was looking at my viewfinder to see if that would help but I hope you enjoyed this update and enjoyed the look that I created I actually really like it um let me know if you would rather have me rolled in a fifth shade because that one shade was just like a lid setting shade so simple um but I'm fine <laughs> with my decision I suppose it's gonna be really easy to use but it is a ColourPop matte so I do not anticipate hitting pan in a timely manner unfortunately um but if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like makeup and panning content and you're not subscribed to my channel already I hope you subscribe before you leave. So I see you in my next video. Bye.